Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss step 3, how to set up an unscaled analog output channel. In the previous video, we discussed step 2, how we can set up an scaled analog input. So in this video, for the analog output, basically that is one reverse process for the analog input. We still have two methods to do this unscale. One method comes from the ID number, from this number, that is the Siemens support website. The second method that is manually programmed, that is still easy. Let me show how can we do that. So that is a PID control loop. In previous video, we discussed how can we do the analog input scale. The scaled value will be used for the input of the PID underscore compact this function block. To control the actuator and the controlled object, the output channel of this PID underscore compact, that is this, the output. So this value, that is from 0 to 100, Basically, you can understand that is 100% value. The unit is a percent. So this value, that is a float value from 0 to 100. And then we need to use the analog output unscale, transfer this 0 to 100 into one integer value. This is from 0 to 27,648, that integer value. So this analog channel DAC, Hardware will use this uh, integer value transfer to 0 to 10 voltage or 4 to 20 milliamp. So that means from here, we need to transfer from this uh, 0 to 100 value into one integer that is a 0 to 27,648. Let me show how can we do that. In the previous video, we already introduced go to the support industry.siemens.com, search this ID number and then we can download the library. That is this library scale library, 1200 and 1500. And unscale this process input that is a zero to 100. And then this unscale will transfer this input zero to 100 into zero to 27,648. The value of this, that is come from the Siemens hardware. So this is a full range of this integer value will be used for the DAC and then transfer to 0 to 10 volts and uh, 4 to 20 milliamp. So the function name, that is uh, this. So this time we will use the scale linearize real to integer. This time we will use this. So let's go to the TIA portal. So that is a project from the previous step. Currently the hardware what I'm using that is a 1215. In this controller, it has uh, two analog input channels. And for this uh, 1215 controller, it also has a uh, two analog output. The output, they are 0 to 20 milliamp. To demonstrate how can we control the analog output, I want to use the analog output card so that I can connect the analog output card signal go back to this uh, analog input. For example, if I want to control this analog output output of 5 volts. So this 5 volt can be input to the analog input channel, channel 1. So to implement this idea, in my hand, I have one single board card. That single board card, that is a one channel analog output channel. That analog output channel can output 0 to 10 volts. Also, it can shift to the 0 to 20 milliamp. So that is this board. And click this area and go to this single boards. Select this uh, analog output, this card. So drag this card here. Double click. From this uh, properties of this card, we will see this channel, that's the QW80, this uh, channel. So this address. And from here, we can switch to this uh, analog output type from voltage and current shift uh, between here. With this card, from this diagram, I'm using this SB1232. So I will use the voltage output from this channel. And then I will connect this channel, go to the analog channel 1. Connect this analog output channel, go to the analog input channel, channel 1. Because both channels, they are voltage channel. To verify this analog output value, if this analog output output of 5 volts, 
So ideally, I can measure the file volt from this analog input. So this is just a demonstration. The zero of this AO also need to be connected to this M here. If you are going to use a similar hardware to verify this idea, keep in mind the M here for this analog channel also need to be connected to this M for the analog input. Keep in mind this. So that means this analog heart need to be shifted to the voltage channel output. So with this uh, idea, let's shift to the analog output type to voltage. That is a plus and a minus 10 volts. Okay. Okay, I will leave here. So keep in mind this uh, channel address that is a QW80. That is uh, for this channel. To program this analog output, let's create another function. Let's add a new block. analog output and scale okay so this time the number we will name 202 okay so firstly let me show the method one that is using the library so we will type in the comments here method one for the analog output and scale so let's go to the library we will use the library from the previous step so to input that library, keep in mind, you can open this library and open the library with download from the website, the ID number that is uh, this ID number. All right, so this time we will use SCL scale linear real to integer. Okay, drag to this uh, network here. And uh, this time the output that is uh, our channel, that is a uh, QW. 80 QW80 that is a single board that analog output this is the output here so which is the value source let's go to the date block and let's create one value source here and let's see the analog output that is a real source value and then let's click this float Drag to this uh, input here. And so this real value actually come from the PID output. That range that is from 0 to 100. So this x0 we will type in 0, 0.0. And the x1 that is a 100. And for the analog output channel, so the full range that is a 27,648. And the low range that is a 0. Okay, so for the Y max and the Y min, so the Y max is the same thing here. And the Y min, that is a zero. Okay, which is very fast. So with this function block, we will transfer a value from zero to 100 into zero to 27,648. Okay, if we double click this uh, function, we will see this source code is open. You can see how this value will be calculated here. Okay, so this analog output actually connect to the analog input into the channel. That channel is uh, this channel, input channel from the previous step. So let's see what the value of them, okay? So keep in mind, currently we are using the FC202 to call this FC4. So in the main OB1, we need to call this function. So drag this function here. Let's type in the comments here, analog output. And this is analog input, okay? Let's hit the save and the compile download the program. Okay, let's double click. Hit the online monitoring. Okay, currently that is a zero. Let's type in the five. Modify this uh, setting. 
fifty percent. Okay, fifty. So it got an output. So firstly, let me measure the output using the multimeter. Okay, the output it shows a four point ninety eight, almost a five volt. Okay, that's fine. So let's shift here. Let's shift to the analog input area, and let's see the channel. And let's see what the value of this uh, scaled value. Okay, so let's go online. We will see this analog channel input. It received analog uh, value and convert it to this uh, float value, that is a 4.97, which is uh, almost the same, okay? If I type in 80%, ideally here should receive eight volt. Okay, we will see almost eight volts. So that means this analog output and scale function is working properly, and uh, this channel is verified. Okay, this is the method one. Let me show the method two. The idea of the method two, that is the same idea as this analog input. This time for the analog output, so this scale will be changed. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so this time the network two, we will program the method two. Same thing. Firstly, we need to drag the normal underscore x and then scale underscore x. First, let's drag the normal x and scale x. Okay. To better comparison, so I will flow this window so that we can compare from this output to this analog input. So this time, the same thing, the input here, that is uh, this source command. Okay, and this source, the mean, that is a 0, 0.0, and the max, that is a 100, that means 100%. And output, we will give a temporary value. So let's go to the temp here. Same thing. And uh, change to this uh, rail. Okay, let's drag to this uh, standardized uh, value here. And this value will be also used for here. Okay, the scaled x rail will transfer to integer. Here. The min and the max that is uh, 0 to 27648. The mean here we need to type in 0 and the max we need to type in 27648. Okay. So this standard value will be scaled to the output. So the output we need to output to this QW80. So we need to switch cut from here, paste here. Because this is an analog output, we cannot use the two lines control one output at the same time, right? Okay, so this here, we can temporarily give a value, just a, a placeholder. So let's type in a integer temp. Okay. Let me drag this value to here. Okay, it's just a placeholder. Okay, the key thing is this. So this source value will be converted to this temporary value. And then this temporary value will convert to the final output. Okay, so let's save and compile download. All right, so we can see currently the source value that is 80%, okay? It uh, normalized to 0 0.8 and then 0 0.8 times to this uh, range. So this is the final output. 
So let's see the analog input. So we will see the value result that's uh, 6.97, almost the same as uh, 80. All right. So that means this logic is working. If we change to the 50, so we will see the analog input that is a 4.97, which means this analog uh, method two is working properly. All right, let's do a quick wrap up. In this video, we show two methods to unscale the analog output. One method come from the library from the Siemens. This is a, this ID number. Okay, after we download this library, click this open and uh, we will use this uh, ICL scale linear real to integer. And this uh, real number 0 to 100 will convert it to an integer number. That integer number will connect to the analog output. This is the method one. Method two, we will use a similar method from the input. So the method two, we will program the normal x and the scale x. So using this way, it will transfer a value from zero to 100 into zero to 27, 6, 48. This is the analog output. These two methods are commonly used in the industry. So for the analog output from the PID, the PID controller, this output will connect to the AO source, this tag, and then this range that is a zero to 100, and then transfer the analog output channel to control the actuators, to control the controlled object. So that is a, the analog output and scale process. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you for watching.